Have you ever dealt with a home buyer? They're ready to close, but for whatever re reason, say there's a hurricane, they cannot close and they've been living in a hotel and they're at their wits end and gonna explode if they don't get into this house. You know that scenario? All right, what do you do as their buyer's agent? Because when you called the listing agent to ask if you could possibly get early occupancy so they don't have to live in the hotel anymore that doesn't have any power, the listing agent doesn't answer the phone because oops, his phone is dead because you're in a hurricane. No one's fault here, right? But you, the buyer's agent, happen to have connectivity with your buyers who are now upset because they can't move into their home. So what do we do here? My name's Liz and I saw real estate in Charlottesville in Richmond, Virginia. And I had this mentor in life who taught me this thing. He would say to me, Liz, I need you to help your client just move to the next step and then let them clearly know when you are going to talk to them again. Here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna call that listing agent again and I will call you at three o'clock this afternoon and let you know what is happening. And then if nothing's happening at three o'clock, you call them at three o'clock and say, hey, here's your update, nothing's happening. But I'm gonna call you again at 6 p.m. Somehow human beings can get to the next step if they know what the next step is because they can deal with certainty. Where there's a situation in a transaction and you need to pay, get the buyer or the seller to get to the next place, clearly communicate with them when you're going to talk to them again and then it makes it easier to deal with. Have you tried it? Does it work? Are you gonna to need to do it today? Maybe.